As an element, tungsten is virtually indispensable to the products of our day-to-day -day lives. Its unique properties make substituting it with other materials almost impossible. Although few have heard of it, it's hard to imagine modern life without tungsten, for it's essential to electrical applications, medical equipment, telecommunications, and technology. What makes tungsten so unique is its unparalleled hardness, strength, and extremely high heat resistance, making it crucial in applications like cutting and drilling tools. In fact, our reliance on tungsten is so great, it's now considered a strategic metal and critical raw material by the United States and European Union. Its use is directly tied to economic activity and growth. Northcliffe Resources, a Canadian company listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange, is well positioned to become a global leader in the supply of this strategic resource. The Sisson project is a proposed tungsten molybdenum project in eastern Canada. Strong economics, a commitment to providing benefits to local communities, and the strategic value of tungsten combine to create an opportunity for Northcliffe Resources to become a global leader in tungsten supply and deliver benefits for generations to come. Located 100 kilometers by road northwest of Fredericton, the capital city of New Brunswick, the Sisson project is well situated in a stable mining jurisdiction with a long history of successful operations and a skilled local workforce. Additionally, excellent infrastructure is already in place, including an extensive road and rail network, abundant and accessible power, and seaports to the north and to the south for export to Europe North America and the growing Asian market. The project is easily accessible from the surrounding communities of Stanley, Juniper, Millville and Fredericton. Highway 107 to the north and highways 2 and 104 to the south connect these communities to the project area. Sisson is one of the largest undeveloped tungsten deposits in the world. Over the projected 27-year life of Sisson, the average annual production represents a significant portion of global tungsten production. The Sisson project has the potential to be a strategic producer and position New Brunswick as a world leader in the tungsten market. Sisson will be a conventional open pit mining operation with site facilities to include ore processing plants, tailing storage facility, and ancillary buildings including offices, maintenance shops, and warehouses. The location of these facilities is designed to avoid and minimize adverse environmental impacts. The Sisson mine is designed to operate 365 days of the year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, processing 30,000 tons of ore per day. The open pit will grow in stages over the 27-year life of the mine. Ore containing tungsten and molybdenum will be extracted from the pit and transported to a primary crusher. Crushed ore will then be conveyed to the primary processing plant where it will be subjected to conventional grinding, flotation, thickening and dewatering processes to produce tungsten and molybdenum concentrates. A second value-added processing plant will refine the tungsten concentrate to ammonium paratungstate, or APT. The APT plant will be the first of its kind in Canada and will enhance local employment, taxes, and other economic benefits generated by Sisson. The APT and molybdenum concentrates are then trucked off-site for shipping to markets in Europe, North America, and Asia. After the metals are separated into their respective products, the tailings will be sent to the tailings storage facility for safe and permanent storage. Tailings are ground up rock from which valuable minerals have been removed. Waste rock from the open pit will also be hauled to the tailings facility and managed as required to protect downstream water quality. Northcliffe Resources has developed a comprehensive plan for water use on the project site. The first priority is to divert any non-contact water back to natural drainages using diversion channels to the maximum extent possible. The contact water, which is any water that falls on the project site, will be collected either in the tailing storage facility 
or in water management ponds for recycling back to the TSF. Water management ponds will be constructed to capture any seepage from the TSF or any surface water runoff from the embankment faces. Water collected in these ponds will be continuously monitored and pumped back into the TSF, depending on water quality. Water used for ore processing will be channeled back to the TSF, reclaimed, treated, and recycled back to the mill. Water from the open pit will be pumped to the TSF as well, and also reclaimed, treated, and recycled back to the mill. After roughly 10 years of operation, it is estimated that there will be more water than needed for processing. This surplus water will be diverted to a water treatment facility, and after meeting strict water quality standards, can be released into the environment. The tailing storage facility will grow in stages, rising approximately 2.3 meters per year on average. Tailings embankments will be carefully engineered for stability to withstand potential earthquakes, floods, and other natural events. Working with the world's leading engineering and environmental consultants, the Sisson project will be constructed and operated in an environmentally sound and socially responsible manner that will generate major socio-economic benefits for local communities and the province. It will create up to 500 jobs at the peak of the two-year construction phase and up to 300 full-time high-income jobs at startup of operations. Hi, I'm uh, Beth Forbes. I'm the mayor of the village of Melville. I've worked with a lot of different projects and so on, and Northcliffe is, is one of the best I've ever worked with. We have a lot of younger people that's left the area, and they're, they're waiting for this project to, to get going so they can return. They want to return back home. My name is Corrine Arsenault. I'm a Senior Office Administrator with Northcliffe Resources. The obvious benefits are increased tax revenues, up to 500 employment opportunities in the construction phase, 300 full-time good-paying jobs, being able to go to work, um, make a decent wage and come see your family at the end of the day. And we have a school, which we're afraid of losing every once in a while because of, of the population. You know, housing, you want to see housing, you want to see people move back, you want to see the youth move back. I have two sons, 13 and 16, and I am hoping that at least one of them uh, takes the opportunity to um, become employed with uh, the Sisson Project and is going to like live next door for 27, you know, 30 years. Everybody's just very excited in the area, not only in the village itself, but in the surrounding area. As I say, they just can't wait. <laughs> Additionally, local residents, First Nations, and businesses in the project area will be given priority consideration for employment and contracting opportunities based on qualifications and merit. Northcliffe will provide necessary training on specialized equipment and operations. My name is uh, Randall Sweet and I'm the Aboriginal Affairs Manager for Northcliffe Resources. Part of my job is to uh, engage with the local Aboriginal communities, uh, to inform them who we are as a company, to let them know about our project, answer their questions and, and uh, discuss with them some of their concerns that they have. I think it's really important for people to understand what the project is and as well as what it isn't. You know, there's a lot of misconceptions out there about mining, and I think what this allows us to do is, is go into the communities, clear up those misconceptions, and be able to also present to them opportunities and benefits that would come from a project like this. And we came in to say, look, here is a project that, that is, yeah, it's big, there's no question about it, but with your assistance on shaping this, uh, we'll be a much better project. And, and we have taken those questions and those concerns and we have modified our project as a result. Northcliffe recognizes the importance New Brunswickers place on their land, water, and natural resources, and is committed to advancing the Sisson project in a manner that respects these values. We, we have a passion as much for this project as we do for the province, and probably actually more so for the, for the people and what this can bring. We believe in this project, you know, um, wholeheartedly subscribe that this project can be done, done properly, and done to protect the environment. I make my living in the outdoors, and I am a steward of the outdoors. I do care a lot about animal welfare. Greg has an attitude which really impressed me. He says if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. People want to understand this project. They want good information. What became really engaging for me is the proactive approach that Northcliffe took at the very beginning to get this project out to the community. Northcliffe put together a plan with myself and a few others, and uh, we, went in, we went in in the winter 
and did a, what we call a track transit. And we identify the different tracks of the different animals that are in that area. And uh, that gives us an idea of the population. I felt very comfortable with the outcome of that. Full endorsement from me so far. I'm very impressed with them. Following the 27-year life of the Sisson mine, buildings and equipment will be removed and the area will be revegetated. The tailing storage facility and open pit will become permanent landscape features that will incorporate and evolve naturally with the surrounding ecosystems. Throughout the entire reclamation period and thereafter, Northcliffe will ensure that the mine site is capable of supporting beneficial land uses and that wildlife and fish habitats continue to prosper. Sisson is a technically sound, economically viable project that is designed to be one of the lowest cost producers of tungsten in the world, giving it the ability to remain stable and profitable, regardless of fluctuating metal prices. When I had an opportunity to uh, be part of a project that uh, could provide a real stimulus to New Brunswick, uh, and in particular to the local area that I grew up in, uh, I, to, to me it seemed like a no-brainer. It seemed uh, you know, a project with a high level of environmental protection and, and and a company that was very serious about doing this the right way and in a sustainable way. Strong economics, a commitment to providing benefits to local communities, and the strategic value of tungsten combined to create an opportunity for Northcliffe Resources to become a global leader in tungsten supply and deliver benefits for generations to come. For more information on the Sisson Project, please visit sissonproject.ca or northcliffresources.com. Thank you.